everyone welcome back to my channel today we're gonna do a video where i just do my makeup today today is thursday so it's, i'm calling it the thursday makeup look <laughs> and i'm so original right all right first thing i'm gonna do is drink water and then i'm going to put on some contacts because my contacts that i've been loving right now are from solitica i bought these from lens.me and they are the color hydrocore ochre I think that's how you say it. I mean, they're really, really pretty. I have no idea what color they are because they look kind of greenish. They look kind of honey. They look all types of color. So here we have one eye on and then this one's not on yet. But as you can see, they're very natural looking. They're very like kind of scary sometimes, but they're really comfortable and they look very natural once you have them on. They're a little light for me, I think, but I like them. I really do like them. Um, they're a little pricey, but I mean, they last for a while if you take care of them. Yeah, I still love my Desio eyes from, from Desio eyes, but, you know, I like to switch it up, so, yep. Okay, so I already went ahead and primed my face with my Porefessional by Benefit. Um, I went back to this one because I forgot how much I missed it. So now, I'm probably gonna work on, mm, my mustache, no, I'm gonna probably work on my eyebrows for sure. So let me do those real quick. Watch. So my eyebrows are done. I have a video on how I do my eyebrows and a uh, link down below for a video. So you can guys see that. So now that our eyebrows are done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color correct my face. I'm always going to go with this one. This is one of my favorite ones. A lot of people have asked me where I get it and I got it as a goodie bag. But I have found a link and it's... Um, it's on the NYX website, I think, but it's so good. I think it's like $13, but I've been having it for a while now, and it's lasted me. I like it because it's not too thick, and it pretty much takes care of all the redness without making me look cakey, you know? So I like to keep my face hydrated throughout the whole process of, you know, doing my makeup. So once I blend in that green concealer or the green color corrector liquid, I like to go in and spray my face again <laughs> to keep it, you know, moisturized, glossy, oily if you want. So now I'm going to do my eyes. I really want to do something pretty but not too crazy but... Something complementary to these eye colors. So, alright, so now I went ahead and decided to use another palette. I'm going to be using this one. This really old but goody. My, one of my very first palettes that I've ever bought, honestly. And this came out of my pocket. It was crazy. I remember like, yeah, like two years ago, I barely got into makeup and I was like, I need to buy that palette. So I like, you know, barely had a job and I was like, let me buy it. It was cool. I think I got it online. I didn't even go to the store. I'm just going to get a clean brush and then I'm going to go into Naked here. And just put it all over my lid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's almost like skin color, so it's not going to be like very... So after Naked, I'm going to add... Um, virgin here it's a very pretty like almost highlight color but I'm gonna put it on my brow bone oh that's very intense and it's very pretty and also in here before I forget another clean brush and I'm going to grab Buck here Buck is a very it's one of my most used colors in this palette it's very pretty very brown and very neutral I just want to move it around into my crease area darkening up that so I'm still darkening up the crease here with that butt color. But anyways, you guys should like this video if you want to see an eyeliner video that I have in mind. Like different eyeliner wings and all that kind of stuff. How to do eyeliner basically. And I'm also working or I want to do a um, workout video. Like a, like a vlogging workout video type of video. So like this video if you want to see that. Esta estaba diciendo en inglés que si quieren ver un video de donde hablo cómo hacerte tu delineador, tu eyeliner, las wings, diferentes wings, um, 
darle una manita para arriba para este video y también estoy pensando hacer un video de, hacer un video de de cómo I work out, o sea, cómo hago ejercicios, cosas así. I'm not saying, no estoy diciendo que yo hago ejercicios así, wow, ¿me entiendes? Pero, now for my lid, I'm gonna go ahead and add it with my finger. I'm actually gonna lick my finger, but you don't have to lick your finger like me. But I'm gonna grab, oh, these two are so pretty. But I'm actually gonna grab uh, sidecar, yeah. They're so pretty. She's gonna do sidecar on my finger. Super pretty. And I'm just gonna put it on my lid here. For eyeliner, we have NYC Liquid Liner. This is the only type of eyeliner that I that I like because it's like simple, easy. I don't have to like unscrew something, put a little brush, you know? It's like a little bit faster. So yeah. I'm gonna go in here and just do a thin line. Hopefully it doesn't go crazy. We'll see. I like to start off here, making sure that it's uh, thin, and then I like to move it over over here. Open my eye. I'm not the one to pull my skin because because then it's gonna make it like wrinkly or something. So I like to open my eye and try and make it as smooth as possible. Now I'm gonna close my eye, open it a little like this. Keep moving over with my line. If your 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 brush gets dry, you have to go back in here and prepare it for the wing. Make it look a little bit pointy. And now we're gonna go in here and try to wing it out. Not too crazy, not too long, but start it right here where your ends, move it slowly, and then I end up flicking it a little bit. Or a lot, you know, whatever comes out sometimes. You know how they say, you know, that triangle, whatever. Yeah, it can be a triangle or it can be a straight line, you know. However your eye is, you want to make sure that that eyeliner complements your eye shape. Before I put my eyelashes on, I'm going to try and work on my face a little better. I wanted to show you guys this little concealer that I got as a sample from Ulta. It's number two by Benefit. Oh, it has a little mirror. I don't even know. <laughs> but anyways... It's very pink toned because it looks like it fits me. I even put it on like a couple of days. But for some reason I put it on my problem areas and then I put my foundation on top. And it totally made it look like a pink undertone foundation. And I'm very yellow. So not very but I'm, I have a yellow undertone. So I'm only going to put a little bit here on my um, dark circle I guess. I'm sure you guys know what lashes I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using Queen Bee by Coco Lashes. These are like one of my all-time favorites just because they remind me a lot of um, Samantha by Huda Beauty. And I used to love those so much until I lost them. And I refused to buy them. So, uh, these are like $6 and like I wear them so many times until I lose them. <laughs> so, I'm just going to put them on real quick. Um... I know I make it look easy, but it takes practice for sure. So once you get the hang of it and get the hang of your eye and how lashes work with your eye, you're going to find that it's like piece of cake, you know? So now for my foundation, I'm going to be using Conceal and Perfect by Milani. This is number 03 Light Beige. 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 But anyways, I'm just going to stipple it on my face real quick. Oh, that was too much right there. Too much. And uh, I always link my brushes down below, so uh, the links to all the brushes that I use are on the bottom, like the sets of the brushes that I that I have. So now that it's all over my face, I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender, of course. And I'm going to spray myself because that's going to keep it more moisturized. I'm oily, but then again, as time goes by, I'm not that oily. It all depends on how I set my face and, you know, how long I keep the foundation on. For some reason, on my days off, I like to wake up and, like, clean and then start recording. But I forget to eat breakfast. <laughs> so then by the end of the video, I'm, like, starving. That's why I'm, like, I guess I grab whatever I see and I start eating it during the video. Something I have been doing lately, but I haven't really said anything, is um, adding a little bit of professional onto my lips. 
uh, a little bit to help with the lines in my lips that way my lipstick gets applied evenly and smoothly and doesn't start going into those lines so now I'm gonna go in with my Elizabeth Arden lip pencil a very good dupe for this is the Italia one that I used in my last video this brand Italia deluxe whatever in the color brown that's very similar to my Elizabeth Arden but it's a little bit more darker but and then I'm gonna go in with that lip liner I was talking about the Italia one in brown and just add a little bit right under here to give her like a shadow and up here because we're gonna be adding a very uh, new type of liquid lipstick this is Crush by Anastasia and want to make sure that it blends out so now I'm just gonna add that And then I'm going to take a little brush, if I can find a little brush, and I'm just going to blend that together. So I really like the lip color. It's more like um, brownish on the outside and then pinkish in the inside, and it's very pretty, and it looks like, you know, you have big lips. So now I'm going to dust off this powder. And then once I'm done dusting this off, I'm going to work on my bottom lash line for my eyes. Maybe add some uh, lashes on the bottom, highlight my face, bronze it up a little more, and then we should be pretty much done. So I went ahead and added a lip gloss on top. I really love this. This is a really brownish, pinkish, mineral lip gloss by Bella Terra. And I think it went really well with that. So, yeah, I really like it. I'm going to take some pictures now. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all of your support all the time. Thank you guys for being so supportive and waiting on my videos all the time. I know I suck at making them because I have this 40-hour job that gets in the way. But I love you guys. Don't forget. Thank you for supporting me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. <laughs> I get all dorky. Okay, bye. You know when your cheeks are so fat, you kind of just bite them randomly? Ugh. Oh my god, really? Piloto para llevarte hasta el cielo. Ser un tonto que solo viva por tus besos